Have you ever wanted to catch any Terraria monster and then use it as your own summon? Well, this Terraria mod allows you to do just that. So what's the most OP team of summons we can build? Let's hop in game and find out. We are here checking out a very unique mod made by Vervain. Make sure to check out their channel, check out their videos. Very talented mod creator. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of based on Power World. And pretty much it says allows capturing and using enemies to fight for you. Right click to switch between capture and release modes. Benefits from summon damage drastically reduce damage while normal minions are active me personally i enjoyed power world i did a nice long playthrough with it uh with some friends too so i can't wait for a future update so i can play more with my friends but yeah if we bring in some slimes here boom as you can see he got the little little pokeball symbol over his head little pal ball pal sphere my bad and we throw our thing at him boom plus one blue slime and now if i right click boom he's on our side he is on our side let's bring in a regular slime let's see if they duke it out okay almost good attempt okay this is gonna take forever i, I probably should bring out a different enemy for this let's catch a zombie okay as you can see we can't catch him his health is too high we gotta do some damage luckily for us if we just throw the sphere at them it does damage or you could also hit him but boom caught his ass now we have a zombie and we got a slime let's bring in a zombie for them to fight now my question is what happens if they die what happens if our boys die are they just gone forever i have no idea they're kind of winning all the fights i need them to lose a fight come on they're too good bro they're too good bring in a billion zombies there we go he's still winning fights he's like 10 and 0 he's the greatest slime ever made oh he finally lost one now my question do i still have him nope okay so they're a one-time use which i kind of like Kind of makes it like a nuzlocke if you guys know what that is a nuzlocke is where uh usually for pokemon games you catch a pokemon and then if it faints it's gone forever you can't use it ever again i kind of messed with that idea but like i was saying look at that you saw how my sphere did damage boom now he's catchable i kind of like that as multi-use pretty sick but yeah this is awesome it's not like super well balanced which i think is actually a good thing because i don't want something like this to be balanced i want to have fun this is a mod type of mod you have fun with so who cares about balance bro i'm trying to catch the goblin sorcerer but my skeleton keeps killing it okay i get it bro you're strong goblin sorcerer on the team go ahead kill that blue slime for me damn kill these dudes for me goblin sorcerer use those projectiles yeah pretty sick i want to see now what these stronger spheres are because i've only seen the basic one we have a desert one which is plus one capture bonus damage and capture thresholds increased by 200 percent in deserts okay so it looks like there's just a little bonus depending on where you catch the mob and or monster whatever you want to call them we have a luminite one which makes them really strong and i'm assuming you could just capture them wherever sky one okay so it's above the surface so it would have to be up up in the sky and then we got underground one okay is there just like a regular one we have a universal one what are the uh the recipes for these like are they crazy what the i guess because the ball is a one-time use like you make it once and you have it forever it makes sense that the recipes are like this but yeah let us go ahead let's head up here okay we're at the lab if you didn't notice i, I didn't start at the traditional area i started in the lab you guys think i can catch a dummy imagine if i caught a dummy now here's the real question let's bring out like the best one universal sphere and can we catch bosses let us find out king slime can we catch you i don't see a thing over his head like i don't see a little like arrow telling me i can't catch him which is making me think that you might not be able to which is a little bit upsetting because i really wanted to capture a boss you could technically capture bosses in power world so it's a little upsetting you can't capture bosses here now here's another question can you capture town npcs no you can't damn it. okay there's a couple downsides here but what other crazy strong pals can we capture i want to capture me a blood eel can i do that okay you don't want to be captured what about an explosive bunny? Oh, <laughs> what about these dudes? Can I capture these dudes? No? Okay, there's a couple of things that you can't catch at all. You, can I catch you? What the heck? Is this thing just doing so much damage? Salamander. Okay, I can catch a salamander plus three. Does that mean I literally have three of them? Now, if you look at this, this one has a plus four capture bonus. Does that mean I get four of them they can be pretty cool but my salamanders versus these salamanders let's get it damn they're strong 130 what's the usual health 65 my boys is strong i'm really interested if you could catch uh mini bosses or not my my dudes are way too strong like I, i'm trying to get rid of them 
I wonder if we could capture mini bosses. Who's a good mini boss to test this out on? I would say like an ogre or something, but I 100% feel like, oh, here we go, paladin. <gasps> Yo, we can't catch the paladin. Nah, a paladin's gonna be insane. Plus five paladin. That's not a paladin. Who the hell is this? Oh, there we go. There he is. My paladin versus this paladin. Let's get it. Mine has 10k health. While the regular one only got 5,000, it's an easy dub. I kind of want to see him throw the hammer, though. Come on, bro. Throw out that hammer. Use the hammer. I do literally have, like, an infinite amount of paladins. Now, I got five of them. All right, I'm trying to think, like, what's the most random team I can assemble here? I don't know how to get more slots. I think, it, what is it, minion slots? Is that how you get more slots? Yes. So, as you can see, I got 42 slots now. Let's, uh, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna use just the regular one. And what is the most random team I can assemble? Let's start brainstorming. I think I need somebody with some firepower. And I'm not talking about magical, I'm talking about literal explosive firepower. So, we bring out my boy here. Boom. Welcome to the team Skeleton Commando. Now, let's capture an enemy that everyone doesn't even remember exists Sand Shark. But not the Sand Shark. Let's do one of the weird ones let's do a thresher crystal thresher oh god damn it stay alive oh my god please terrarian just shoot once thank you i can't catch a crystal thresher are you kidding me see not even the mod knows about these dudes there's not even the mod wants me to catch them bro okay you know what every team needs a clown oh yeah we can catch them you gotta get him pretty low though oh yes that's gonna be our mr mime can i catch the hemo globin shark is that possible with the hemo goblin come here I don't think it's possible. I don't see a symbol above his head. This dude is moving. What the hell? It's a little bit upsetting that there's a good majority of enemies you can't capture. Oh, you can capture the blood squid, though. What about the blood eel? No, no, no symbol above his head. You can capture the blood squid. So how about this? Sand poacher scorpion on the team baby do you think i could catch a martian probe not a martian a martian probe no <laughs> okay what about just a martian oh yeah martian walker come here where are you going bro that boy's skedaddling yes sir okay we'll say two more because you know that's usually your party in pokemon six can i catch a spike ball is that possible no. <laughs> what about a lunatic devotee? Uh, I don't think I could even spawn that guy in. He would have been a perfect piece to the team. You know what? I need some rock types. Rock Golem. He's a heavy hitter. Welcome to the team, buddy. And last but not least, we're going to add a, I don't know, tainted ghoul. Welcome to the team, pal. All right. Let's bring him out. Skeleton Commando, Clown, Sand Poacher, Martian Walker, Tainted Ghoul, Rock Golem there we go that's my squad now my squad oh my god i get the little chattering teeth on my side too what happened to my sand poacher why did it just die <laughs> all right y'all versus king slime let's get it it's just the regular king slime there's not no like expert mode or anything actually i don't know what difficulty it might just be normal mode okay you guys versus the eye cthulhu how far can this team go they got kind of all the attributes you need you know range strength health how far can my squad go? We are down a party member ever since the sand poacher incident. Queen Bee, she's gonna be a little bit faster, so hopefully they can hit her. I think we're getting carried by the Martian Walker, bro. The Martian Walker is spamming. I'm gonna play down here with with my, uh, my group of boys here because I feel like it's only fair. I gotta be near them, right? Because that means they won't be taking damage if I'm not near them. Oh, here we go. First true test, they're actually gonna get hit a couple times. Shoot, don't even matter. What about Brain? Brain and Cthulhu, they did good enough damage before it dipped. I can't fight the wall of flesh, so we're gonna have to go straight to the mechs. Let's get it. The twins, can they do it? They benefit from summon damage. So should I put on like a summoner set or something? Let's put on the spider set. Cause you know, we're in hard mode. We might as well give them a little bit of better damage, a little hard mode scaling so we're not sitting here forever. Oh look, somebody's low. The tainted ghoul. Oh my God, he's about to die. He's got 15 health. Hang in there y'all. Come on bro, we're so close. It's not looking good. I think we're only down to four. We're about to lose our commando. Oh my God, we're about to lose the clown. We lost the clown. We're down to our final two. The two carries. The Martian Walker and the Rock Golem. The Rock Golem just got a bunch of health, so that's why he's one of our carries. I'm going to dash around. If they get hit, they get hit. You know what happens. And, and 
finish it off yes sir it's not looking good though we're down to two in our uh, nuzlocke here and the next one they gotta fight is the destroyer oh my god oh my god they be <laughs> that's not cheating it, the destroyer could have spawned anywhere just happened to spawn right there they made it to skeletron prime good luck y'all i'm gonna move back and forth so they're not always getting hit but they do get hit eventually can they do it i think it might be up honestly the golem is gone no and the martian walker is pretty much gone unless i dodge around the martian walker is pretty much gone but they did good damage look at that that's not bad a little 6k if they had the full squad i feel like they could have done way better things really went downhill once the sand poacher died at the very beginning i still don't know how it died but yeah this is a little fun idea y'all can do i might honestly do something with it a little like terraria nuzlocke i don't know how often vervain's gonna work on the mod they'll probably Probably watch this video so if you possibly can i would like to see way more enemies compatible because it's a little upsetting how many enemies are not compatible but at the same time it just might not be possible due to coding so i understand that but yeah maybe there'll be some other features in this i don't know maybe like a literally a whole class based on this later on or it's just a one-off mod that they probably won't touch again i don't know but it's a fun little idea it's nice to mess around with you guys in the comments you let me know you want to see the the pokemon nuzlocke i don't even know if i can say pokemon modded terraria stuff like that anymore because i I heard pokemon is like copywriting a bunch of people right now like say if you play like minecraft pixelmon i heard that minecraft is like straight up striking channels on youtube so that's good i never did that cobblemon minecraft series that i was gonna do but a shout out to vervain and anyone else that worked on the mod make sure again to go check out vervain's youtube and of course check out the mods vervain makes themselves make sure y'all leave a like subscribe turn on the notification bell all that good stuff and i will be seeing y'all in the next video have a good one